Hey guys, this is a Grady White 248 Voyager. I want to show you a little video how clean this boat is. It uh, has never had a repair, nor has it ever had bottom paint. It's got a completely clean hull. Nice aluminum trailer. Twin axle. Both axles have uh, disc brakes. There's a full vinyl enclosure. and a, a bimini top that covers the whole back of the boat hydraulic trim tabs Stainless steel prop. Couple of rod holders on the uh, tower there. Lights, deck lights, uh, CD stereo mounted to the roof. And it has a bow pulpit. Cabin windows. Got a cutty cabin with a porta potty. And that's the uh, the rear of the enclosure. The anchor locker and all the cushions for the boat. There's a fan. There's two stairs going down to the bottom. We get the Yamaha digital gauges. And the Garmin and the West Marine VHF radio. And the Garmin is a GPS map 740S touchscreen. So it's a chart plotter a radar, GPS, and a fish finder all in one. Compass, hydraulic steering, hydraulic trim tabs, and of course your throttle, and all of your accessory switches, forward, 
rear bilge pump, live well, uh, windshield wiper, nav lights, a horn. Padded seats. And the back of the boat has two large fish boxes. Uh, this one over here is a live well. Actually has a pump. Seawater can come in. And just a little storage here. And this one is a really big fish box here. And then you got the back deck of the boat, which has uh, built in rod holders and the gunnels there. Little access door to the transom. The hydraulic steering cylinder. And a little locker here for your dock lines. And inside here are the batteries, as well as the two stroke oil container and your battery switch. And swim ladder. So this motor is a 250 horse Yamaha two-stroke saltwater series. It uh, it does have the hose attachment here for uh, flushing it out when you're done. No need to power the motor on. You can just hook a hose right to it. Uh, the hydraulic steering. The hydraulic steering. I uh, rebuilt all of the seals new hoses and you can steer this boat with one finger it's it's really nice and on the bow you have your hatch for your for the cabin and anchor locker bow pulpit and it's a complete walk around Okay, so here's the motor inside the cover. The heads and valve covers, I recently took all of those off, put brand new gaskets on, cleaned out all of the salt and silt debris on both ends. So the cooling system is like brand new. All of the fuel filters I replaced and fuel pumps. All six carburetors were taken apart and cleaned. So the motor is in excellent condition. It's a fuel filter. Uh, it has a power trim here for when you're out tilting it up. Here you can kind of see those brand new gaskets. And no matter how much you flush it out, salt just builds up inside, inside here and uh, it's all cleaned and scraped out 